When she's not busy winning Grammys and racking up millions of monthly streams on Spotify, New York-based singer-songwriter Fiona Apple quietly spent part of the pandemic on Zoom. Court watchers. I've been a court watcher for almost two years now. Helping local racial justice advocates here in Prince George's County keep an eye on the court system. Every time you touch the system, it sticks to you. One result is this federal lawsuit accusing judges in Prince George's County of abdicating their responsibilities by unconstitutionally letting suspects languish in jail for days, weeks or months while an office known as pretrial services conducts background investigations before releasing them. The suit claims the average suspect in Prince George's County stays unconstitutionally locked up an average of 38 days, even though they often end up with charges dropped or being found innocent. Apple made this claim after Zoom access for court watchers like her was cut off. And why did they take away this access right after this lawsuit was dropped? It really it really seems like they're retaliating against us. Because it's in the Constitution that it is our right to observe. And she has been our greatest ally. Today, here outside U.S. federal court in Greenbelt, court watchers say Apple has drawn unusual attention. Her videos accusing Prince George's County courts have racked up at least 1.4 million views in the last 24 hours. I just wonder if judges had any idea who was watching. I don't think so, but I think they know now. <laughs> I think they know now. In a written statement released this afternoon, Maryland court said, quote, any suggestion that this was done in a retaliatory effort for a lawsuit filed in July 2022 is demonstrably false. The statement explains that courts decided in March to go back to in-person hearings as the pandemic eased long before that lawsuit was filed. Now, the Prince George's County Court Watchers were here in federal court today aiming to get a federal judge to order Prince George's County to reform its pretrial detention system. The judge has not yet ruled. In Greenbelt, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.